So yeah, I made my New Year's resolutions. My resolutions were to uh, read more and to lose weight. And I think I'm setting myself up to fail because those are like counterproductive goals, you know. No one's ever going to be like, oh, Jim, you're looking good. Have you been reading? I'm <laughs> yeah. reading a lot. I still read in the toilet, you know. I, I, uh, I'll, and I'll lose it, you know. If I'm in a good book, I don't even remember. I'm on, I'll just be lost in this other world. And it's like, oh, half hour later, I'm like, oh, gosh, I'm still in the toilet. You know, and you can't even feel it. It's so cold down there. You know, they want to call for help, but you're at a gas station. <laughs> Every time. Thanks a lot, Harry Potter. So I like Harry Potter. Because it's about half-breeds. I don't know if you know that. They call them mudbloods in those books. See, some of you know. The sixth book, what was it called? Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. I was like, that's me. Like, when those movies were, you know, I heard they were going to make move the movies. I was like, son of a bitch, I got to be in that. I got to be in that movie. I'm glad I didn't, though. Did you hear the movie directed that first one? Chris Columbus. The director's name of the first one. How would you like that? That would have been my first part in the movie. Jim Rule, new actor discovered by Chris Columbus. <laughs> I want to do a shampoo commercial. You've never seen Indians in that. If you ever try flaky scalp, just throw it away. Why would you hold on to that? That's I realize I don't look terribly. My mom's full butt, right? You know, but when I was born, I had blonde hair. Can you imagine that? A blonde baby coming out of a full blooded Indian woman? That must have looked a little weird. The doctor's like, holy shit, it's not done yet. <laughs> Give it another week or two or something. There's like, no, it's okay. It's, uh, it's like the white buffalo. <laughs> it's good luck, touch it. Not yet? No, oh, you, you could still have a chance. <laughs> Do they tease you a lot? No? A lot, a lot. A lot, yeah. At least it's just teasing now. It used to be poor. <laughs> oh, was, or, did we, or did we conquer your village? We brought you back. <laughs> Because there's that teasing. Mostly it's just about what people eat, you know. I, I travel around, I find out all these tribes hate each other. Each tribe hates their neighbors pretty much, so it's nothing personal. You know, it's just, you guys eat dogs. <laughs> Have some gum, you know. You know, that's all it is. Like, and, then, and then you hit us back, because I wasn't ready for it. Because uh, I grew up way over in Wisconsin, actually. There weren't too many Lakotas around, so I met one in college on the West Coast. Like, she's like, whatever, rabbit choker. <laughs> what the hell's that supposed to mean? I called my mom up. Mom, what the hell was that crap? Like, yeah, that's what we used to do. She even showed me. I came home for the holiday. She's like, yeah, you just get the snare out there. <laughs> I've never seen my mom's kill face. Like, oh, Jesus Christ, mom. You used to kill the shit out of those rabbits. Oh my God, I was all inspired. Yeah, I went right to the mall, the pet store there, and just snuck right up to that rabbit cage like, Stop it. <laughs> All the kids are all crying. <laughs> She's going, the men market, it's my culture. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. You can have the feet for good luck. <laughs> and they're like, whatever. And they start walking away. I'm like, what the? There's a Lakota guy where they're stabbing the puppies. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Think you're all bad? <laughs> one up each other, you know. Who's gonna kill the most cute cuddly animal? <laughs> anyway, LA is a trip though, yeah, there's people from all over. Met some Alaska natives. Alaska natives. They're pretty cool. I was like, come on you guys, let's go clubbing. Like, what there's no baby seals around here. Like, yeah. That's what you guys eat. 